When I'm working in a project where I have to manage the costs, I like to work with a budget planning. That is to say that I have a schedule of the different costs involved into the project. This is part of the financial planning of the project. For this, you see, my example is the construction of a set of homes and that set of homes, we are currently in the situation where we are in the phase, which is the design or conception phase. That is to say that um, the architects are working with engineers and doing all the design works that we can get the blueprints for the construction. It's Christian from Vision 6D and I'm helping you to improve your knowledges in project management as well as I help companies. So this table is really easy to, to build. Now to, to understand it, we can look at the first stage here, which was initiation. It's within that phase that we do the business planning, that is to say we evaluate whether it's worth, whether it's an investment that is interesting or not. And you see that we had a total cost of 96,000 euros for this uh, first phase. It was distributed over three months and you see here that it was at a cost of 28,800 euros followed by 33,600 in February and we finalized it also at a cost of 33,600 in March. So you can see since this was the only activity that on the top row where we have the total per month, it corresponds exactly to those activities. Now, if I move further to April, we see that we have several components or better said, several activities or tasks that were performed at the same time. So we did the elaboration of the first design. We did some global budgeting. Uh, we had the pre-project planning and all this you see, for example, elaboration of the first drawings, it was costing 11,000 in April, 11,500 in May and 7,500 in June. And you can see that for the three activities, we summed up this amount and here you can see it at the level of the summary task and on top we see the total for the months. Of course that since there is just one summary task here the amount is the same. So this is the same situation for the months of May. June is a bit different in the sense that it is the same for the first part but you see that we already started the conception with the first work with the architect for an amount of 5,000. So we have as a total 27,500, which is the sum up of the two summary tasks, those 22,500 plus the 5,000 that are here down. So I think that you got it. You understand how to read this table and that you can really follow on the first line, month after month, the cash that is needed by the accounting department to make sure that they will be able to pay what's going on in the project. Of course, if the money is not there, your project might stop. So this is an easy way, and you see that you can prepare for the month of August, you will need to make sure that you have 96,000 euros. So this is a table that for me is really interesting because at some point I need to discuss with the accountants of how the spending is going on in the project. And with this, I can already prepare them to how we are going to spend the money during the project. And now the good question is how do we create this and you will see that it's really simple.
I've taken here the, the Gantt chart and in that Gantt chart we see that there is one particularity here in the table it's that I have added the cost column and of course the cost column must be completed because if you don't have this you won't be able to define the budget so now to define this budget what I do it's I'm going to take another view and the view that I'm going to take is the task usage the task usage is showing you for each task how the work is distributed over days weeks months here I've scheduled everything to be with the, the months if it's not the case for you you can do that by zooming in here down so now you see that I have work that is defined though so no costs normally in a project when you assign resources you see the distribution of the work in my case I haven't assigned any resource for the moment what I have also added here in this view because you don't have it normally I also added a column for the costs here so now what I want to show you it's that by right clicking on the column in the middle where you have the details you have different possibilities to make come out here so my interest is the cost you see that we have the work that is currently active we could have the actual work so we could as well have the actual cost so I'm going to request the costs here and you see that immediately we start to have a table that resembles to the one I presented now one thing that is missing we still have a line for every task for the work so I'm going to remove this and you see that all of our table has now simply appeared so I can here up take again the example of the business planning for a total cost of 96,000 that was distributed here with 28,800, 33,600, 33,600. So what you need to understand here is that Microsoft Project is doing a proportional distribution according to the number of days that were worked or that the duration included dur during the time interval what it is it's that we started the 8th of January and uh, during January we had less activities on this uh, task the business planning that's why we see here a difference in the amounts with that now you are ready and the first line here up is proposing your monthly financial planning.